Water gives life. It can also take life. Yet, it is key to our survival. By studying water, we create new ways to harness and to adapt to the world's water. At the Bywater Institute, we will discover ways to cultivate this energy for communities locally and globally. Water is a centerpiece of life. So we think of it uh, in terms of drought and abundance. We often don't think about it uh, when it's present and available. It's in the extremes. And uh, New Orleans and Southeast Louisiana, we think of the extreme as being an overabundance of water. Rather than see it as uh, an ongoing battle that we have to wage, it's something that we can sort of turn around and we can leverage. Based on its experiences, based on its challenges, New Orleans uh, is really a natural fit for uh, the development of uh, technologies and services associated with water. So whether we are talking about urban water management, riverine flooding, or coastal restoration, uh, we have uh, developed a, a deep understanding from our experiences. The aim of this new center is to effectively bridge across a number of different experiences, ranging from people's daily lives all the way through the massive infrastructure projects that are on the periphery of New Orleans. We're a node in a network that plugs into the supercomputer that serves the broader two-lane community. Uh, this facility is designed to facilitate pipelines of interactions, so uh, researchers can drop their boats off, take their samples in, and they can go right to the lab at the center. It is pulling people together from different worlds, from different environments, to create something new. So we can think of the parallels that are easily drawn between New Orleans and New York, or New Orleans and Japan. The tools and technologies and the knowledge that is emerging is arguably going to transform our experience and potentially transform the world.